Well, a very good morning to you. And it doesn't look to be such a bad morning after all. Um, we love British weather, don't we? It always gives us something to chat about um, while we're waiting. Um, and I'm waiting for people to join me this morning. I'll just have a look out of the window. Yes, it looks safe to go out, but I don't know what the temperature's like. So um, perhaps take a coat and a, an emergency umbrella. But who knows what will happen. I've given up with the weather forecast now. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? So good morning to you all as you're joining me. It's lovely to see your names popping up. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Mark. Lovely to see you. And it is past 8.30, so we'll begin. So a very warm welcome to you all. It's our morning prayer service on Monday the 5th of October. Our psalm today is Psalm 71 and the reading is from Acts 21 if you like to follow with me in your Bibles. Uh, today I'm reading from the New International Version. So let us, still let us still ourselves and gather our hearts and minds before God. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hands of the wicked, from the grasp of the unjust and cruel. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have been like a portent to many, but you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength is spent. For my enemies speak concerning me, and those who watch for my life consult together. They say, pursue and seize that person whom God has forsaken, for there is no one to deliver. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, make haste to help me. Let my accusers be put to shame and consumed. Let those who seek to hurt me be covered with scorn and disgrace. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long, though their number is past my knowledge. I will come praising the mighty deeds of the Lord God. I will praise your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even to old age and grey hairs, O oh God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to all the generations to come. Your power and your righteousness, O God, reach the high heavens. You who have done great things, O God, who is like you? You who have made me see many troubles and calamities will receive me again from the depths of the earth. You will bring me up again. You will increase my honour and comfort me once again. I will also praise you with the heart for your faithfulness, O oh my God. 
I will sing praises to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, my soul also, which you have rescued. All day long my tongue will talk of your righteous help, for those who tried to do me harm have been put to shame and, dis and disgraced. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And to set the scene before our reading, um, in Acts chapter 21, rioting had broken out around the temple in Jerusalem, probably by some of the Jews who were so hostile towards Paul in Ephesus, but not the Jewish Christians of Jerusalem. And people in the city, which is actually very small and compact, had come running to the temple where Paul had been dragged from the inner courts and was being beaten. In Luke, he says the whole city of Jerusalem was in an uproar. The Roman commander of the fortress commanded his troops to go to the scene and then the commander tried to find out what was going on. Paul had to be carried out of the mob by soldiers into the garrison fortress. And so we pick up our reading in chapter 21 at verse 37. Just as Paul was about to be brought into the barracks, he said to the tri tribune, may I say something to you? The tribune replied, do you know Greek? Then you are not the Egyptian who recently stirred up a revolt and led the 4,000 assassins out into the wilderness. Paul replied, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Sicilia, a, city, a citizen of an important city. I beg you, let me speak to the people. When he had given him permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned to the people for silence. And when there was a great hush, he addressed them in the Hebrew language, saying, Brothers and fathers, listen to the defence that I now make before you. When they heard him addressing them in Hebrew, they became even more quiet. Then he said, I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Sicilia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, educated strictly according to our ancestral law, being zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way up to the point of death by binding most men, by both men and women and putting them in prison, as the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify about me. From them I also received letters to the brothers in Damascus, and I went there in order to bind those who were there and to bring them back to Jerusalem for punishment. While I was on my way and approaching Damascus, about noon, a great light from heaven suddenly shone about me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, who are you, Lord? Then he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now those who were with me saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me. I asked, what am I to do, Lord? The Lord said to me, get up and go to Damascus. There you will be told everything that has been assigned to you to do. Since I could not see because of the brightness of that light, those who were with me took my hand and led me to Damascus. A certain Ananias, who was a devout man according to the law and well spoken of by all the Jews living there, came to me and standing beside me, he said, Brother Saul, regain your sight. In that very hour, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, the God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the righteous one and to hear his own voice. For you will be his witness to all the world of what you have seen and heard. And now, why do you delay? Get up, be baptised and have your sins washed away, calling on his name. After I had returned to Jerusalem and while I was praying in the temple, I fell into a trance and saw Jesus saying to me, 
Hurry and get out of Jerusalem quickly, because they will not accept your testimony about me. And I said, Lord, they themselves know that in every synagogue I imprisoned and beat those who believed in you. And while the blood of your witness, Stephen, shed, was shared, I myself was standing by, approving and keeping the coats of those who killed him. Then he said to me, Go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. So, as usual, as we come to our time of prayer and intercession, um, do put the names of those you, you know that would like prayer up on your screens. So let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father God, guide your church into wisdom. May your word be spoken with passion and in truth so that those that hear will receive you in their hearts and lives. Bless those who lead, lay and ordain. Inspire their decisions and teaching as they disciple us to deeper faith in you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for our communities. We pray for some those that have had to go back into lockdown and for people who are struggling to cope. And for businesses who are fighting to survive and keep people employed. Help us to continue to look out for one another and to check on those neighbours we rarely see or barely know. As the days draw in, open our eyes to notice those in need and respond as we're able. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we bring to you the children and young people of our communities, their nurseries, schools, colleges and universities. The changes they're facing feel strange and alien. The challenges to staff and pupils are immense. We pray for them, for their learning, for their safety, and protection from harm and illness. Strengthen and protect the staff in these changing times. And we especially pray for the vulnerable amongst them, the ones whose home lives might be troublesome and insecure, for those who suffer from bullying, and those who struggle to keep up in class. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, you do great things for us and great is your faithfulness. We remember the marginalised and the rejected. We lift before you all who are ill, afraid, depressed or lonely. We pray for those undergoing operations today and all those hospitalised with Covid. Today we pray especially for Enid and Bob, Sue and Sam, Natalie, Vic, Tony, Kathleen, Mark, Jackie. 
Can we pray for Hayden, Hayden Thomas and family, mourning the passing of Sue? Can we pray for Meg and Raphael, and for Sue, Andrew, Kate, Archie, Maya, for Clive and Yvonne, for the family mourning Linda, Amanda's former dance teacher who's died aged 96. God bless. And we pray for Kenny and Margaret. And we pray also for Ben and Sarah and Joanna. Father, we pray that you will grant them your healing and your peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for those who've died and now see you face to face. We commit them to the safety of your keeping. And so we remember Sue and Linda, Colin, Carol, Barbara and Arnold. We pray also for all those grieving Phil and Alan of Troy. Be with those who mourn. Fill the emptiness of loss with the light and hope of your presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Our collect for today. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself. And so bring us at last to your heavenly city where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you all for being with me this morning. Um, I love Monday, so it's always such a good start to the week. So I hope for you a very good week and a very good day today. And take care and God bless you.